all go through life trying to do our best to be good people. We help the poor, we build our societies, and we do our best to raise generations to come. We live and we do good, hoping to be rewarded in this life or the next, knowing the more selfless our actions are, the more we will be rewarded. But very few of us do, do something as selfless as what you did. Very few of us would agree to lay helpless, exposed and cold to be cut open by complete strangers. Very few of us would continue to give after our death, but even death didn't stop you from giving, even death. There is no way we can repay you for our first tour around the real human body, for the first activity that made us feel like real doctors. But I can promise you that as I held your lungs, I thought of every breath you took during your 94 long years of life. As I held your muscles, I thought of every visit to the grocery store you made and the bags you carried back as you went home. I thought of the safe rocks your arms once, your now frail arms once were to your babies as they rested on your arms. And as I held your heart, I thought of every time it skipped a beat for love and the hurt you felt as it broke for the loss of that love. Your skin was thin, your muscles were weak, your bones were brittle. Time has taken its toll on your human body, no doubt. But within that lie the two most important lessons you taught us as a group. The first being the fragility of a human body. And the second being the intricacy of our creator's beautiful geometry. Two lessons I will not soon forget. May you rest in peace, Virginia. Thank you.